Dr. Damina said, it was not God that answered the prayer of Elijah. Yes, it was not. The two fires in Elijah story are not the same. The fire of Mount Carmel is from God because that fire was a miracle. That is different from this one. This one came to consume human beings. That fire that consumed people was Elijah opened the door to spirits. Now it is left for you to choose whether you believe Jesus or Elijah. The problem is many Nigerians who are Christians do not have faith in Jesus. What you feed on will condition your prayer life. If you feed on Christ and his mission on earth, your prayer will be focused on the advancement of his kingdom. It's what you feed on. Huh? It's what you feed on. What you feed on will frame your prayer life. What you feed on will frame your prayer life. If I go to church where people are not taught to love, all the emphasis is fall and die. Judgment. Be roasted. Be roasted. Be roasted. Touch me by mistake. Die by correction. If I be a man of God. <laughs> Dr. Damina said, it was not God that answered the prayer of Elijah. Yes, it was not. I repeat, it was not. The problem is many Nigerians who are Christians do not have faith in Jesus. They do not believe that Jesus is God. They see Jesus as the same with Elijah and Moses. So Elijah, if he says something, Jesus cannot correct it because they are age mates. Many Nigerians do not understand that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of Elijah and Moses. Jesus is the reason for Moses. Jesus is the reason for Elijah. Elijah and Moses came to announce Jesus. So that's why when Jesus shows up, he starts correcting Moses. The big boy is Moses. In Matthew chapter 5, you have heard. Moses said eye for eye, tooth for tooth. I his master, I say. Bless those that curse you. Pray for those that despitefully use you. That you may be like your father which is in heaven. Why? Jesus said no one has ever seen the father. So Moses and Elijah never saw God. Which means their statements will be subject to correction when God shows up. Jesus is not junior God. Jesus is not God's errand boy. Jesus is not God's boy. Jesus is God Almighty who became a man to die for man. He is the beginning, is the end. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And the government shall be upon where? His shoulder to order and to establish. So it is the coming of Jesus that will order and establish the kingdom of God. See now, let me push this thing. Second Kings chapter 1. I know you've been waiting for this. Second Kings chapter 1, because you're teaching prayer. Second Kings chapter 1 verse 9. Put it up quickly, brother, on the computer. Then the king sent unto him a captain of 50 with his 50. And he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill. And he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king has said, Come down. Next verse. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of 50, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy 50. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his 50. Next verse. Again also he sent unto him another captain of 50 with his 50. And he answered and said unto him, O man of God, thus had the king said, Come down quickly. Next verse. And Elijah answered and said unto him, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God, the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Next verse. And he said, sent again a captain of the, of the third, fifty with his fifty. And the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said unto him, O man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. They started begging him. Now wait, stop there. This fire is different from the fire of Mount Camel. There are two fires. And the two fires are not the same. 
The two fires in Elijah story are not the same. This fire is not from God. The fire of Mount Carmel is from God because that fire was a miracle. Remember, Mount Carmel was call on your God and call on my God and let the God that answered by fire be God. Remember, it was judgment of the idols. And that fire on Mount Carmel did not kill anybody. It only licked the sacrifice, licked the fire, licked the wood. That's all. It was judgment of the God, like the plagues of Egypt. When Moses by his rod produced plagues to judge the gods of Egypt, the fire of Elijah on Mount Carmel was fire to consume the sacrifice and judge the gods of Baal. That is different from this one. This one came to consume human beings. So what does Jesus have to say about this fire that consumed people? Luke chapter 9 verse 53. Luke chapter 9 verse 53. And they did not receive him. Because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. Next verse. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? Even as Elijah did. Where did Elijah command fire that consumed people? Eh? Second Kings chapter 1. Eh? So, now let's see what Jesus will say about that fire of 2 Kings chapter 1. Next verse. But he turned and rebuked them and said, You know not what manner of spirit you are of. Next verse. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. Now wait, if Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever, if today he rebuked them for wanting to bring fire to consume people. If he was there when Elijah did that prayer, will he have rebuked Elijah? Yes. Why? Because that fire was not going to come from him. He said, you know, no. so that fire that consumed people was, Elijah opened the door to spirits. And those spirits took at neither give room Now, it is left for you to choose whether you believe Jesus or Elijah. That's the crux of the matter. Matthew 17, 5. Matthew 17, 5. Matthew 17, 5. What is this man waiting for? While he yet spake, go back to verse 3. Because you have to know it well to answer them outside. Because you are the one, none of, none of them can dare me. All of them, they, they talk from afar. It's only you they'll be talking to. Me, they'll just be looking at me. And when they see me, bless you, man of God. Shoe get size. Verse 3. Even to call my phone, they're afraid. Some of them, when they call me, they'll say, how are you doing? I'm well. I just called to greet. Thank you. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah. Who and who? The two big boys of the Old Testament. The two big boys of the Old Testament. Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Next verse. They answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you permit, let us make here three tabernacles. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. Let three of you be preaching in our church. Today Moses will preach, tomorrow Elijah will preach and bring down fire. Then next tomorrow you will preach and bring grace. Next verse. While he yet spake, behold a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son in whom... I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Hear? Hear? Who are you to hear? 
only Jesus. Look at the next verse. Everybody read the next verse with me. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. Next verse. Very loud. Everybody want to go. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Next verse. Now, now, now. Everybody louder than louder than loudest. Want to go. And when they had lifted up their eyes, So where did Elijah and Moses go? They were removed out of the equation. This is the one that you should hear. Hear Jesus only. Jesus said that fire is not of my spirit. I didn't come to destroy men. I came to save lives. Huh? Clear? 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 Okay, wait, let me show you something.